What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and it's an animation make a townhouse, the 22nd installment of townhouse, I gotta talk kinda quicker, the grid is off by the way, it's a 22 by 26, I'm just gonna say that right now, uh, you need one more block at the front than what I originally gave, so just keep that in mind when you're building this, it's only for the roof and I got confused with that, um, but yeah, that's all I have time to say, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the spinning for this is a 13 by 25, and the materials we're needing are terracotta, stone bricks, you might need more than nine. You probably do. Brick blocks, polished granite, black stained glass panes, polished granite stairs, dark oak doors, yeah, I need 10, I think. Spruce slabs and acacia wood. The 10th one you need is... Oh, you need 11, actually. You need deep site tile slabs and polished deep site walls. Um, Starting from the front left-hand corner of your 13 by 25 grid call, of course, you mean you start by cutting backward diagonally to the right by one and going right. You want to place three terracotta. Take that first one you place, bring it back by 22. Bring that back one right by two. Uh, hold on, I need to check the number. Place 14 rows of stone bricks on top of that. Whole thing. Just, just, just like triple checking. Again, I don't want this to be wrong. If it's wrong, it'll be upsetting. So I wasn't planning on starting with it. I was planning on starting with the uh, side that would give me the number basically... Um, nicely, although I was, I, I didn't do that. Um, hopefully I'm having a good day or night. I am for the most part. Um, I don't know what today is anymore. It's a Wednesday, I think. <laughs> it's been a Wednesday. I mean, you know. Nothing exciting for a Wednesday. I mean, you know, that's great. Exactly what I wanted to do. Just go two over my limit, even though it's, there's no limit here. I guess go over the grid line, technically I did do. That doesn't happen that often. Unless I just don't think about it. Because, I mean, a lot of the things go straight to the edge. So I feel like it's bound to happen at least, like, once every other tutorial or something. I guess I'm just that good at building. That's a joke. Um, there you go. At the front. Now, I didn't add windows on the side of the back. I forgot to mention this in my other tutorial I just recorded. Oh, that's annoying. But... Um, yeah, um, so, you know, choose what you want with that. It's kind of, like, set where the windows would be anyways, but, yeah. From this, uh, far right terracotta here at the front, you want to go back diagonally to the right with a terracotta, and then bring it right by four. Going left to right or right to left on that row of five, does not matter, place brick block, polished granite, black stained glass pane, polished granite, brick block. Copy that row one more time. Bring each brick block up by one, and then bring everything in the middle of that up with a polished granite stair. From now on, those three rows we just did, I'm going to refer to as the window, because I'm not saying that two more times. On top of that, you want to place two more rows of bricks. Then do the window again, so brick, granite, pane, granite, brick, up another row. Brick on either side, three granite stairs in the middle. Then place two rows of bricks on top of that, and then do the window again. And then, once you have that, you'll have this. Don't place a row of brick at the top there, by the way. You want it to be a block shorter than the stone bricks. Just throwing that out there. Um, come to the back, the far right bottom terracotta, and you want to go back diagonally to the right with another terracotta. There's only a bottom row, I don't know what I'm saying. Bring that terracotta there, right with the dark oak door, and then another terracotta. So you have another little row of three. Bring the door up with a polished granite stair, two brick blocks, dark oak door, polished granite stair, two brick blocks, dark oak door, polished granite stair, and then a singular brick block. Like that. Bring the row of terracotta left and right of that up with, uh, like, it's 13, I think, brick blocks.
like that. There you go. Uh, my goal here was to kind of have just like a very uh, red kind of vibe and then just have some popping of gray and brown and I guess black uh, from the door, uh, roof, and this, and then also the acacia pillar. Just have some, you know, color pops on the red uh, color pattern. Pretty nice compliment, in my opinion. So then from this bottom right terracotta here, this far right one, you want to count 4 by 3 and on this block you want to bring it up with 14 acacia logs or wood, doesn't matter. Now, the rows of brick below the dark oak doors, you want to place 2 rows of ups and down spruce slabs moving forward. Just like that, and then I'd bring that front row just left as far as you can. And then place another row in front of that and it wants to extend an additional one to the left. Obviously, you can't put it in front of the acacia wood, so we're kind of just shifting it around if you think about it. Like that. Get rid of your spruce slabs and your acacia wood and get out polished deep slate walls and uh, deep slate tile slabs. And around the outside of each of these balconies, you want to place polished deep slate walls. So along the far front row and the far right row. That's basically it. Just like that. And then you want to bring this entire row here, this entire row of terracotta and brick back with 18 rows. And then we just have the back and the roof, and that should be pretty easy, hopefully. And then again, whatever you want to do with the back, you can do. Um, I didn't really do anything because I didn't feel like it, but um, yeah, I was trying to make this slightly quicker just so I can pump out another video because I need it. Um, and I, I normally don't tackle. Well, sometimes I do. I've been recently doing a little bit of fancy stuff, which I guess having the shape is something. Um, you then want to at the back. You basically want to copy the pattern at the front. So bring this terracotta here right to, from my perspective, toward you diagonally to the right by one and then right four. Like that. And then you can bring that entire thing up with the brick as well. And then that will be your build basically done. Um, other than the roof. Like that. Now, uh, first thing I'm going to tell you to do is... Uh, basically, make the top of the stone brick section just a rectangle. It's a big rectangle. Just fill in these two rows here. And then what you're going to do is surround the top row of stone bricks with deep state tile slabs. You're going to have a half a block gap above the deep state tile slabs in which you can see stone brick. That's what you want. You want that effect. And then you basically want to bring the... Um, you want to bring the furthest forward and furthest back deep state tile slab each right by eight. Based off of the perspective of the front. And then at the front, you can bring the deep side tile slabs forward with an additional row. But then from there, you just want to connect this kind of shape together. So you're just going to create a flat roof. I don't know how else to describe it on the flat roof. Basically, just like, you know, it's just a perfect line. You're not doing any squigglies or anything. I think having the perfect, perfectly rectangular roof works a bit better here than it does um, with some modern houses and stuff. I just, I don't know, I think it was better. You can shape it a little bit more if you want it, although there really is no point considering you need it this way at the front because of this. Because you're not going to just randomly bring it in and have it come back out, that would be kind of weird. Unless you made this row uh, walls or something or fences, then you could trim a row off, although that wouldn't really do you a whole ton of good. But, um, yeah, what's it done, ladies and gentlemen, that is your townhouse, the, I don't even know what number installment complete. Thank you guys for watching, so if you guys did enjoy this video, have a finished your dinner, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.